whack, I'm going to get over there and water. I'm out. Every last one of them all. And it's all with the schedule. First six months of my fucking 2022. We already routed. We got it. 100 shows. Played all of them around. I'm done. Fuck it. I'm done. Right? A lot of these artists, bro, they can't do that. They can pick up these hits, bro. They, you know, they get that 50, that quick 100,000, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every couple months. You know, you got the dog, man. They go out with Snoop on the tour, but you got a lot of artists, bro, that they not getting called to come over to clubs. You know what I'm saying? Or the U.S. runs and shit like that. It's not happening. It's going to hurt them. Really, it's one incident. It ain't turned up like that. It's just one situation that happened. Really. Because niggas was there all day. Crips, bloods, essays, all day. Cheering, taking pictures, changing phone numbers, getting caught up on the old times. Niggas was chilling. We tripping off each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, 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 I'm like
Superman will always have a flush hand. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't no nigga that good. No nigga that good. Ain't no team that good to win it every year. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no box that good. You know, you keep getting in that Floyd. You keep hopping his ass in that ring. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some real shit. You know, so you keep on that side, my nigga. You know what I mean? My grandfather used to say this shit. That nigga used to say, the sun don't shine in the same dog's ass. One day it ain't gonna be no Damn. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, I've been here. Okay. Hey, him and John Gotti the third is supposed to be my shit. Oh. Lloyd and John Gotti the third. Yeah, but all that, that's exhibition shit. That's this shit. Yeah. I don't know where it goes. Nah, I ain't talking that. about the record one, though. I'm just talking about this nigga. Better quit jumping in these rings. Unless it stayed. You know, yeah. you know, it's you know, it's you know, it's but it's the thing. If we see Lil Willie D knock Floyd Mayweather ass out, it don't matter whether you go on that shit or not. Right. That That's point. it. Thanks. That nigga Tyrone Willie look bad. I ain't gonna have to do it. Floyd was gonna do that. Yeah, that, that, that's not the problem. I think Floyd's going to get his ass in. After y'all got off that. After I packed it, y'all had it. Maybe in the trash. Hold up. Remember, Floyd is old. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like someone what? Hey, uh, reset paper. If you're in here, I'm gonna give you the reason. Just to let you know. Oh, say less. Who said that? Hey, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna think, right, bro? I'm gonna ask why we all in here, right? Oh, that's well. Okay. Why we all? Cause I, I, I stay caught up on what's going on. So what's the issue with people uh, spraying the wounds? Like why people get mad? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. What the fuck? Why, why do they? Why do people get upset? Oh yeah. Damn, we need to do something. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. I don't I, I just always wonder why I tell anybody to tell Ebert the other day. I don't be knowing what's going on with half the shit. You know, I just shit. You know, if I step outside, I know a nigga got a camera, they might record you. You know what I'm saying? So you on you on any type of platform talking, it's a good chance a nigga gonna record you. I just accept that willingly, but I be scared motherfuckers. Like, hey nigga, you got me to stop screaming the road, record the road. Well, I'm sure a lot of it is just don't have it. But hold on, a lot of it is we're not up to the thickest the way you are, so we're not used to it. It's just something about the problem. But at the same time, being a sleepless and it's coming from our race, we're just going to have to accept that we're going to record. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I look at it all this. I look at it like, oh, more for the road. But then again, you might be right, because he's bad over there. Whatever his uh, skills are, they're more sensitive. So I get you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if you do other niggas' rules, you might just say, you know, shit, uh, nigga, uh, uh, sleep was in LA, a man, or posted, you know, whatever. Giving credit. Like, it's it's like, not giving credit. Like, like yeah, what he has to do is, like, today, he, he man, you know, recorded. This happened in Stickless in LA. Like, you gotta, you gotta do some type of shout out for sitting on that just for recording. I'm just trying to put it out. I ain't never shout niggas out. Oh, no. That's what nah, nah, that's right. Right. No, 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 no. What they saying, let's say, like, look, let's say, like, when you put it up on your channel, right? When you put it up, you probably got your your tag, your logo, eBay, boom, and then just be 
behind it is just the the, the conversation. Nah, uh, Wack, go look at the name. I don't know. Bro, I, I don't know. The name on the title. Look, the, 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 the name on the title. He's asking. He's just asking. Look, if you want to listen, I don't know. Tell them other them German people do that to the video. I don't. Hey, look. But one thing. Yeah, listen. No, no. Listen to what I just said. The ops do that. Say less, bro. You notice I ain't been in here a lot. I picked up the vibes, bro. And I don't make no money off these videos because they just be fucking cursing so much. So I'm actually doing a disservice to myself with this other content I could be kind of nah, putting out there. So straight up, bro. Like, this ain't the best shit to be streaming, bro. Niggas not making you Hey, listen. Hey, listen. It ain't I'm that much profit good. in this, bro. So no, this is what I'm saying. It's about money. Yeah. Yeah. Doing stuff, bro. That's involved with You ain't got that five star on you on your head, do you? Oh shit. You on your way? I ain't got shit to do. This nigga stay on the game, live on the game. You, you ain't about to do a motherfucking thing, nigga. Shut up. doing a motherfucker thing, bro.
I'm going to see what's going on. They know I'm going to text you back. I'm going to call them and I'm going to tell them what's up. You know what I'm saying? And I got pulled up yesterday. And he bans and then got mad at me because I went back to the gym. But I went to my friend and the brothers were running in on those kids. I actually fought with Stiglitz in L.A. They fought with back to the gym. All of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I wanted to even not to leave because... I went to eat man with Raptor that and told him, look at that. He agreed. Was a female in those bullshit. Talking about they was moderators in here, then they gonna leave eat man's room like they got the right to leave his home. And what y'all should be doing is just partnering up with him so y'all can, you know, so I feel like I can fix that. I'm like, man, I ain't want to be in the middle of none of this shit. I fuck with every room. I could go to sleepers in LA. This is home to me. I can go fuck with Keita and the French, y'all. They cool over there. I just know about them good. That nigga gonna play that nigga Devontae. That nigga Devontae, he be doing a lot of shit. Hey, yo. Nigga Devontae out there, bro. You got a lot of shit. I'm right here. I'm gonna be in a wreck that nigga. That nigga be on some slick ass shit. Yeah, I'm saying that I'm right here. I'm not gonna be on some slick ass shit. I'm 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, not much. Yeah, I'm trying to get this little storage, man. Um, RV stores. So I can put my stuff in there. Yeah. I got I talked to the guy today, so he said he'll let me get it. Say what? The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this game CD, some are calling it the game of the year. Others are saying, hey, this is the Super Bowl preview. And as we speak, these are the top seeds in each conference. How do you think these two teams approach this one internally? And I think that we both subscribe to the theory that it is the game of the year so far, and it could be a Super Bowl preview. I know outwardly both teams are going to tell us, hey, it's one of 16. We're going to do what we do. Let's just go ahead and play our game. But I think we both know that internally they're saying we've got to establish we're the team to beat in case we see them again. Second down and eight. A give for Taylor running right side. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Taylor. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. On first down, Taylor. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The last run got six, now second and four. Running left, Taylor. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. The offense on third down today. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. 
They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Watson off play action. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. in this game but plays like this are critical to keep drives going and if points result we'll call this more significant they'll run on first down it's taylor and down inside the 15 he goes 51 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now that's when you got deshaun watson charles executing a run pass option that puts the defense in a tough spot does it not it does and what i like is that you called me this week Watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop yeah, a few this week right. because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. Is it going to get to the corner? That's where the focus will go. That boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure it's just a little bit extra. Closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. Hold 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they will not really have time to do much of anything. 15 seconds, all that remains before halftime. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. He ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. So you know. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Yeah, you know, they kick off the half. You got to deal with the game for a
Did y'all bring the plates to the oven? Hey, Will, check your bathroom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I did. He said he has COVID and he doesn't feel like going back and forth with him. But he did tell me some of the things that he allegedly said. And he said he said he was telling a man, he's like a black guy, he would have been a houseboy. And he also asked the black women, like, I guess they were arguing. He was like, who touched you? That's what they said. Yeah, so, <laughs> but that was a, I mean, that's what they're saying. He said, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so what does the defendant have to say? I did probably work. Yeah, this is a long story, but uh, yeah, I have to do my politics or something. I'm on this platform. Somebody said somebody attacked me racially, so, you know, I didn't know. Did you respond back? I don't like our racial. Did you respond back with a black racial joke? Like, the business circle? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I got that. Well, yeah. Did you ask black women who touched you? You admit you're a racist. You admit you're a racist, bro. What is your nationality again? Oh, Mexican is that one. You know you can fuck. So you Mexican, so you 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 say you're Hispanic then. Okay, where you grew up at? Which state? Oh my God, they I would never do that. I don't, I don't even talk like that. 
I'm never seen it. No, ever. I actually think it's going to be one of their timeouts. It's just their first time. still be down to two remaining as they start to sign it here in the fourth quarter. Have you ever brought her a watermelon at home? Hold on, Wes. Hold on, hold on. Have you ever brought her a watermelon at home? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The nigga got stopped in the backfield, climbed five yards for a first down. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Made a comment about my daughter, called her the B word. Like, you know, it was a lot of disrespect in my direction. And, yeah, so I reacted. But, um, but yeah, that being said, uh, no. I tried to fuck it up. I was just reacting. I was just Come on, man. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, well, you go make the money like what you're doing. Like you can do what you want to do, but yeah, you're just gonna look crazy as hell trying to come into a black space, driving out racist shit. If I shout out some racist shit, I'm not about some Mexicans. I'm not going to find a bottle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hey, Chris Hollis. 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 Hey, Chris if you go to jail, what car do you ride? I'm going other. You want other. So that means you with the Samoans, the Tongans, you with all them, right? Yeah, because I can't, I can't assume. All the others, the Islanders, all them is other. I, I get it. I know exactly what you're So when you, when you function in society every day, who you function with? Yeah, black people, dark skinned black people, particularly. Very dark skin. Wait, what? Let me ask my next question. Let me ask my next question. Uh, in your everyday life, you part of the streets? Not necessarily. I'm just a worker. You're just a Come to the line, ready to start the next drive. 
and a tight move after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive.
you can't do nothing but laugh about it and giggle about it because they beat that shit, drilled that shit in our mind. Like it was a religion. When you hear us that got older, they can't do something like that to say, damn. We are called to that shit, you like. Yeah, there's so much politics going on. I can't, I, I don't even know how to talk because I get, I get passionate with everything that's going on. But hey, you know me, you know me, you know who. Hey, mama, you should be with me the other day, right? Who, from Compton or where? Monkey Man called me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's back. Yeah, man, 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 man called me. Yeah, he called me the other day. This is because of dudes like this. Sure got a neighborhood to stand on. I said they neighborhood. He was dead. You know, with cats like that wasn't around. He was there the niggas that did all the shit they did for that had a notoriety and name it had. I mean, he being that stupid as well for some other shit. Kicking a field goal at the end. Uh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. I got bad service. I'm in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> and the kick is good. So you wonder how this one plays. I'm in the next. I mean, I already win, man. I don't know. This game's over. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shot out. Good game, man. Hey. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Packers, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Seattle Seahawks come to town. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, it's a loss that could wind up costing them a first-round bye as they dip to 9-3. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. <laughs> So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL.